Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to review Shell. So grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get going with it. This is one that I've been looking forward to doing the most. Um, you see so many people, they love Shell, and there's nothing wrong with Shell. But I can't help but think it's just a, a very expensive, kind of, a, well, maybe a slightly overrated fuel for what it actually really is. Uh, that's obviously just my personal opinion, and I have used it in the past as well, even when it was back in the... Uh, the Optimax days. Uh, so, the last time we did these was in February. And we actually did V-Power before. The very first video that I ever did was in September 2021. Now, obviously we're not getting into uh, politics, but from September 2021 to February this year, the price of V-Power shot up to shot up 19 pence anyway. It was 145.9 in September 21. And in February this year, it was 164.9. As I say, a 19 pence jump. Then, today, it is 209.9 pence a litre. So forget the September one, because everything else, we've done that on the uh, February price so it has gone up from 164.9 to 209.9 pence a litre that's a 45 pence rise so it's kind of roughly you know that's not 48 45 right around there and the E10 uh, that in February was 144.9 pence a litre and it is now 189.9 pence a litre which is also exactly 45 pence on top so, um, last time we did it, the E10, that was just over 5%, probably realistically 5.5%, you know, something around that. It, it was, I, I watched the video and I was saying it, it's just over 5%, so if we say a healthy 5%, and then the V power, that was 2.5%, so is it going to have changed? I honestly don't know. So, the one on the left, that will be the E10 as normal. The one on the right, that will be the V-Power, 99. And, uh, yeah, it'll be very, very interesting to see what's going on with these. So, I'll put some in and we'll come back to it. So, there we are, they're all loaded up. We have, as standard, the 20 mils of dyed blue water in the bottom. And in each measuring jug, we've added 200 mils of fuel. So the one on the left, that is the E10. Just a normal, regular 95 E10. And the one on the right, that is Shell V Power E5, 99. And very similar colours, uh, maybe slightly darker on the V Power. And the E10 you can straight away see that going up a little bit obviously it's going to do it's um that is definitely going to go up it's but how far it goes up is another question now the v power on the right that is doing something that it's doing that sort of more compressed not as much as some of the others but you can see it's more compressed um so i'm hoping that will be a low one but i still think because it doesn't look super squashed sometimes you see them when they've got zero they look really kind of come almost like they dip under the tw under that 20 mil mark it's as if it squashes it right down but um yeah so we'll have to see so right what i'm going to do is i'll agitate those pouring them into the other measuring jug that i've got well, i've got a few measuring jugs but in and out and in and out five or six times into a different measuring jug it gives them a really just sort of simulates that swilling around in your tank um if you had a little bit of this water in there this is kind of showing you what is actually going to happen and uh, <laughs> potential catastrophe you're gonna have as well so uh, i'll get that done and we'll come back to it and i'll see you in a minute And we're back. Right, so 
I don't know if you can see it from there. We'll start with the E10 because that's the most exciting one. It's now 7.5%. So basically, if you're going to Shell thinking, I'm going to buy some premium fuel, but I don't want to buy, say, like V Power, you might as well go to Sainsbury's or even better, go to Gulf. So that is now 7.5%, which is the same as, let me just check my sheet that I've got, same as ESO. I'm sure it was the same, I haven't got it written down, but uh, I'm sure Tesco's was the same. And uh, the one on the right, the V Power, that stayed the same, that is still 2.5%, so at least that's not changed. So you know where you're at with that. Um, so yeah, interesting result. I think the E10s, I think they are going to end up getting spanked on this, um, on this ethanol business. I think uh, some of the companies are just, but I suppose it depends. If it's cheap, you've got to think of what goes into creating that ethanol as well. I, I don't know whether it's actually cheaper for them to use it or whether it costs them more. Because they've got to farm the stuff in the first place, the actual crop to make it, that costs money. And then they've got to produce the ethanol from it. So I don't know, swings and roundabouts maybe, who knows. And then the one on the right, the V-Power, well that's good, it's, it's still the same, isn't it? So yeah. So if you've liked the video, I'm not going to beg you to, but if you can, just like it. And if you want some more content, hit the subscribe, then you'll get your notifications. And uh, if you want to comment, just comment. It's uh, it's always great to see your comments. And on the microphone job, I am going to leave it for now. I will leave it. It was on my laptop. I was listening back to it when I was editing it. And I thought, God, it sounds terrible. But yeah, I'll just leave it for now. Uh, I can always get one later on. So... Thank you, and uh, BP's coming next, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.